Hey traders, checking in on the stock market today. So we had an initial start that could have been a fake out if you didn't have your eyes on the entire market. And I'll show you what the clues were that had us not really confident in the bulls. We stay range bound. We're waiting for a break within the coming days. Let's check out the charts. All right, so here's the S&P 500 futures chart. Here is our downtrending resistance line. Here are our lower highs and here they remain. We did not break the lower high pattern in the S&P 500. Today was the day where we had the NASDAQ bulls leading the way. Great start to the morning. IWM, some growth names, biotech sector, perfect start. Couldn't have asked for a better start. But they look over their shoulder, say, come on, bulls, let's go. Nobody else was joining. IWM failed its high of yesterday. XLF, XLV, SPY, all failed high of yesterday while QQQ broke. They have to act as a team. We have to see all of our sectors at the high at the same time if we're going to have conviction and follow through, especially in this market environment. So the whole time while live streaming this morning, we could say, you know, Tesla, relative bull, Netflix, Facebook, biotech sector, they're all standing out. They're looking good, but we cannot be confident because all these names are not joining team bull. If nobody else is joining team bull, QQQ can only hold up so long and it can't stay sus sustaining that strength if nobody else is going to join. It did for a good part of the morning and then it rolled over. So that was the key clue not to fully trust the move. Be skeptical. We're going to be skeptical of these bulls as long as we're range bound here. So here we are pulling back. Now it's all about the low of yesterday again. If that low of yesterday holds, we remain range bound. It can easily last into next week. We've got CPI numbers Friday. That might be a spark for volatility to break this range. But if tomorrow we pull back and hold support and then bounce to another lower high, Next thing you know, it's the end of the week. Bears obviously need to break this triple bottom. That would be very notable if they're able to pull that off before the end of the week. The NASDAQ, futures, four hour. We had a four hour bull flag that confirmed, but again, no follow through. And it rolled over. So we'll keep an eye on this. Just visual guides. SPY, the V key level that must hold is that base of support down at 40704. In the video yesterday, I talked about defense turning into offense. We had defense turning into temporary offense, but then it was the Bears playing defense. And the Bears played defense well today, not for everybody, but for enough sectors that they were able to stop the advance of the Bulls and stay range bound. SPY daily inside bar. QQQ, full break, no follow through. Still just a lower high compared to the high of Monday. SMH, daily inside bar, low of yesterday held by 10 pennies. It's one of our weaker sectors. We're a lot closer to the low of this eight day range of consolidation than our other major sectors. So I would say that SMH has, has relative weakness. And if we look at SMH divided by QQQ, I have not done so yet, but I bet it's pulling back. Solid red day today. So semiconductors weakening comparative to the NASDAQ a bit. And VDA saw a bull move, but failed a double top in the 193s. Unable to break that level. Range bound, we remain. AMD clear lead bear. Past couple of days, just pulling back more considerably. And daily higher low support, 99.55. If that level holds, bulls will have to be cautious of a head and shoulders pattern. Tesla. So Tesla started the morning great. Bull correlation showed up and in a big way. All morning, bull correlation, stronger than QQQ. Look at that start. Increasing bull volume, the second five-minute candle of the day. QQQ had it. Tesla had it. A bunch of individual names had it. We know that's a signal to be aware of because we do not often see the second five-minute candle have more volume than the first. Nine times out of 10, probably more, you're going to see the first five-minute candle have more volume, and then the volume putters out through the rest of the morning. That's the normal pattern. Nice tightening five-minute range, breaking bear. Bears took over from there. But a nice strong start. Still an hourly uptrend, but bulls gave back way more than they wanted to, creating space for a potential hourly lower high to be the result of the next bounce from here. So I'm viewing Tesla as a low, high, higher low, and anything under 792.63 
is just a daily lower high remaining range bound. That's the theme of the video. We are range bound. Crypto sideways, range bound. Volatility is incoming because many, many things are range bound. Financial sector, daily support break. This is notable. If we are red tomorrow, this for me is a point in the bear column to increase probabilities of a bear break of the S&P 500 because this is a daily bear flag failing, daily bull flag failing, and now breaking support. Technically speaking, weekly consolidation is underway. And this was one of the major sectors that was weighing down on everything today. XLV, same deal, rejected from the high of yesterday by two pennies. Daily inside bar, not that weak, but couldn't break resistance. IWM, high of yesterday, failed to break it by 24 cents. Daily inside bar, again, overall, this daily bounce is still holding on fine. It's just unable to break short-term resistance, which is keeping us range bound. Biotech sector, great start to the day, hitting levels that we have not seen in a month. Solid follow through, still an hourly uptrend. Have to be cautious of an hourly lower high next time we bounce here. But a notable strong bull follow through move from yesterday. So again, the, the names that stood out this morning for their strength, Facebook, Netflix, Tesla, biotech sector, Baba, which we'll look at, and then it faded a decent bit. And again, the NASDAQ, here's, here, there was a 15 minute equilibrium and it was just low of the day, high of the day, higher low, lower high, higher low. We broke one resistance level, but couldn't break the high of the day. And then we just rolled over. This was when bears won the day right there, taking out all support levels. And essentially, I just imagine a bull with a weight on its shoulders and just holding up and doing its best, but then just failing from exhaustion, unable to hold up, unable to hold up the bull market. Had no help, needed another sector to step in and take some of that weight. And nobody did. Biotech sector did, but it's unimpactful for the S&P 500. BABA, short squeeze. So gap up open, look at that volume. That volume is over three times the average daily volume. So the Chinese markets have been doing really well ever since they reopened after CVID. And BABA definitely benefiting in a big way. NIO is continuing to see relative strength. Gap up open, close near the high of the day. So these Chinese names going from, again, maximum fear to FOMO. This one was a, a more prolonged shift. It's that, I keep pointing out that Adam and Eve, and if we break 124.11, this pattern confirms, but certainly a big day today. Tons of space for an hourly high or low. Believe it or not, I actually did well on two separate shorts on BABA today. Definitely, it got to a point where, all right, I missed that move. But just a couple little top fishing plays. Here was a little double top that ended up pulling back over 1%. And then at the end of the day, we pulled back over 1%. But bulls looking for an hourly high or low with tons of space. And again, this is a short squeeze. All about 124.11 in the short term. The dollar is still holding on for the bulls for our equilibrium. We held support. So this is a point in favor of the market bears column. As long as bull, the dollar bulls are holding on here, held support, have to break this range bear and shape up a weekly lower high and a weekly little bear flag. If anything's going to change, burden on dollar bears. Metals, uneventful today. Range bound, range bound, range bound. Natural gas had some bearish news. This daily rising wedge is still in play. Getting interesting. We're going to look for a four hour lower high to be the result of the next bounce. XLE still holding strong overall, a little bit of a bear candle, but again, we can pull back 5% and still be in a daily uptrend. So don't disregard that fact. But aggressive bears are watching for the daily stair-step pattern to break for that daily consolidation. And really, it's just oil keeping strength. 
Oil bulls are in complete control. If we see natural gas and oil weakness, we'll have some confidence in energy bears, but oil is holding on after an inventory report reaction, still favoring bulls. CCJ, so swung that position overnight from yesterday's news reaction and sold it this morning with a little bit of a gain and then missed, I highlighted this two minute inverse head and shoulders while live streaming, but too distracted to grab the entry, unfortunately, because we got really nice follow through where we held the low of the day. 2730 was a double top. After you break 2730, bulls end up following through multiple percent to the upside. I did get this short. A little bit of a frustrating day. Honestly, this goes to, I talk about wanting to have a few names that you're familiar with, where you know how it trades, you're comfortable with it. For me, that's been Tesla in the past, NIO, certainly the cannabis sector, and all these different places. Not CCJ. I've traded it a bunch. Haven't traded it, you know, yesterday and to, into today is the first time I've traded it in probably a couple months, maybe a month or two. But I was just leaving money on the table left and right where I was watching this rising wedge and I actually had it drawn a little bit tighter and I almost gave up on it. I had it like this. And so this bull break over it, it was like, oh man, is that finally getting followed through? And I'm, I'm just on the wrong side here. It pulled back, higher, low, lower, high, rolled over. So I was building a short position above 28 and scaled out, but too fast. You know, I, I exited my last short position in the 27. 80s before this bounce, what I could have done better was associating the QQQ setup with CCJ because there was a lot of correlation there. And in my mind, if I had been like, well, if QQQ is about to roll over and give it up to the bears, CCJ can pull back a lot more significantly. That would have helped me to scale out a bit less rapidly, but it's just so hard when you're going from absolute full bull control, tons of strength and then just disappears and it doesn't exist. And so here I am expecting a five minute higher low to be the result of, of a pullback and we just dump. We just dump 4% with no bounce whatsoever. I did play the bounce. I played it in both directions. And again, I was, I was making money in both directions. So I'm not complaining, but I was leaving money on the table in both directions because the moves were just getting more follow through than I anticipated. Look at the stair step patterns on the five minute. All that work I did, just stick with the stair steps. Higher low every five minute candle, that pattern breaks at 28.14. Lower high every five minute candle, that pattern breaks at 27.58. Higher low every five minute candle, that pattern breaks 27.79. Lower high every five minute candle, that pattern breaks 27.41. You get the idea. I mean, if you're going off the five minute stair steps, they are getting really nice follow through and nice clarity. So the names that started as lead bulls on the morning are still in hourly uptrends, but I feel like I've been talking for a half hour. We're 12 minutes in. The names that started out as lead bulls have hourly uptrends still intact. They pulled back more than the bulls would like to see, creating space for the potential of hourly lower highs to be the result of the next bounce. We're watching XLF. Does XLF see follow through tomorrow and a red day to follow through with its new lower high and lower low on the daily? Do we stay range bound on the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 futures? Those are the questions that we have from here. A lot of back and forth, bull day, bear day, bull day, bear day, until we break the range on a volume spike, which is incoming. We know it. Not yet. Do good things. These windows open, I hear this noise 30 times a day. All right, this is the new trellis. Going to put this hardy kiwi that a friend gave me when I moved in. I'm gonna climb that 
up it and it's gonna get big enough to take over this whole thing. But I got a couple wisteria as well. These give some really nice purple flowers. So two wisteria in the front, hardy kiwi in the back, and they're definitely gonna battle each other out eventually, but for a few years it'll be harmonious. Pretty cool trellis.